How's it going, everyone? Maryland here. That's right. It's time for more of the Omega Ruby Wedlock. Last time I got done infiltrating the secret base. Actually, it wasn't even a secret base. It was their hideout. They don't even call it a base or anything. But yeah, I managed to do that. Had a close call here and there, but nothing too bad. So here's a look at my team. And now what I need to do is I need to make my way on over to Moss Deep City. But you know what? Before I do that, I want to do just a little, uh, just a little trip back to Fall Arbor. Not Fall Arbor. Let's go to, uh, Lava Ridge Town. I want to get some more Moo Moo Milk. I've been burning through that stuff. And you know what? It is delicious. But yeah, it... You know, you have to restock it every so often, and I think it's really affordable. It's only like 500 bucks, 500 bucks per bottle. Wow, I can't even talk. 500 bucks? What? How do you get 500 bucks? Uh, whoops, I always do this every single time. I don't understand why. Okay, there we go. I'll buy another dozen. I think that'll bring me up to around 30 or so, so I should be okay. And then there was, oh, I should heal. Um, I should definitely do that, but yeah, so, all right, one thing I want to talk about. We're going through the water now. Now that I can surf east of Lily Cove, it's like there's just water everywhere. And basically every single route has like the same encounters. It's so, so weird. Wait, is there not a, okay, here it is. Um, It's so weird, but one thing I've heard is you can get separate encounters underwater. Okay, let me rephrase that. That's obvious, all right? We know that there's different Pokemon underneath the water as opposed to the ones that are above the water. Yeah, we know that. But what I guess they changed in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, now, rather than it being called underwater, so, because I always go by whatever the root area is. Uh, like, for instance, let's take Cashew, okay? So, it says that she was caught at Petalburg City. Well, in Emerald, and I guess Ruby and Sapphire, underwater was like, it was a location, regardless of where you went underwater at. Well, they changed it, from what I hear, from what I hear, I haven't tested this yet, but I think they've changed it in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, so now it's based off of where you actually went underwater. So, for instance, if I were to go underwater, on Route 124, let's say, then it would say Route 124. So, since I've gotten every encounter I can get on Route 124, there's nothing new I can get here no matter what I do, I'm just gonna use a Super Repel to get past it. And even though, you know, using Repels to kind of cheese the system, it's like, well, I don't really know how I feel about that, but I am playing with a self-imposed Dupes Clause limit, you know, usually if you're playing with Dupes Claws, you can just do whatever you want. You know, just get as many encounters. It's really no big deal. So, I am going to, uh, I'm just gonna super repel to get through there. I don't find there's a problem in that because it's like, well, hold on a second now. Why on earth would it be a problem? I want to get something cool underwater and I'll have plenty of chances and all, but it's like there's nothing really better to do. Okay, so I guess the only other thing I want to do really quick is swap around my Pokemon. Let's lead with Souffle. I think Onion will really shine in these watery roots. Okay, let me uh, let me put that Super Repel on my body. <laughs> that sounded so funny, but it's like, what do you do with it? Do you like spray it on your clothes? Do you spray it on like, like what do you even do with it? Wait, where did it go? Oh, here it is. Wow, it was... <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see it the first time around. All right, let's go. Let's fight. Pokenab Plus is waterproof. I have a terrible sense of direction, so the area nav is a must-have for me. Yep. Uh, oh, hi, Wingle. What's up? So I won't be able to get a Dex Nav encounter more than likely, but that's okay. I don't think that there'd be anything that interesting until after I've defeated Kyogre and Groudon. Oh, it's a Love Disc. Wow. So original. All right, Souffle. Let's play with this thing. Oh my goodness, level 39. I'm gonna really have to step up my game. I know my levels are actually getting kind of, kind of low in the big picture of things. 
Oh, you know what? Flail actually kind of worries me. Let's switch out for Onion. We're just going to one-hit KO this thing anyway. Although Souffle could take it out. Why risk getting hit with a with a Flail? That's just bad. And besides, I can share the experience between these two. So that's nice. Um, Yeah, we'll discharge. Like, this is totally Onion's zone, man. Totally a zone. But I gotta get some experience. And actually, I think I'll be great for experience once I get the Super Rod. I think there's some Pokemon I can fish up, which will be a little bit nicer. So that's a good thing. Yeah, that's a really good thing. Oh, what the? Wait, what is that? Is that Tentacool? A oh, Tentacruel, close enough. Well, I already have a Tentacool. That uses up my Dex Nav encounter, but that's really no problem. However, for later routes, I might want to kind of save those, because if there's no reason to go there, well, I could potentially get some non Hoenn Pokemon. Oh, look at that Celio. That thing looks great. Um, what to do against it, though? Let's go ahead and struggle bug. Not entirely sure what this thing's even going to do. But we'll just do a little bit of that swagger. I mean, I know you got swagger there, souffle. Huh. Well... That doesn't really help. <laughs> oh, no, that doesn't. Um, I don't think this thing could hit for too much. Let's struggle, bug. We're gonna, we're gonna go for it. That's what we're gonna do. Ow! Wow, that actually did a lot. Oh, hail. <laughs> oh, hail. <laughs> that actually sounded kind of bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm obviously saying hail here. <laughs> That's just silly. Okay, let's go ahead and switch it out. I don't want to be confused. That wasn't a good idea. But at least this thing does have lower special attacks. So that's good. Rest. Oh my goodness. It's like Stall Rain Incarnate. Man. Well, that's fine. Let's just go ahead and done discharge. I'm like Thunder Wave. Thunder Thunder something. Thunderbolt. Thunder th Thunder something. Whatever. We we got this thing, man. This the Celio's out of here. Onion, why are you so useful? Why are you so useful? And I find it to be kind of dangerous using like a powerful electric type move like that in the water. Like, does that really seem like such a great idea? Does it really? Um, I don't even know. I don't think so. I think it sounds kind of dangerous, really. Okay, let's go ahead and Moo Moo Milk. Uh, do I need to? Do I have, like, some random potion? I thought I picked up a potion. No, maybe I didn't. Okay, well, that's... I won't need it. It's fine. All right, let's go. Oh, hi. Whoa! So we got to go to Moss Deep City. Oh, man, that's going to be cool. Finally getting to a new city. I am looking forward to that. Hey, what's up? Hey, do you know what? Do you know what? I do know what. How did you know? You agree, right? Oh, <laughs> right? Uh, I don't? Let me explain then. Try using Surf with Sharpedo. It'll go zooming so fast and make you feel so great. Oh, it'll make me feel great. Oh, I want to feel great. Hey, guy, what's up? I'm the diving treasure hunter. I'm the awesome dude who goes deep sea diving to gather treasures resting at the bottom of the seas. You haven't got any treasures for me. If you see any shards like the red shard, you've got to trade them with me. Uh, duly noted. Yeah, so I guess I can get some stones here. I guess that's a good thing. I mean, why not, right? Um, I don't need any right now, but in case I need to get a leaf stone, that might be an option. I think I could just give him a green shard to get it. Wait, what was over here? Did I just see someone? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's this guy. All right, well, great. Let's fight him. 
Chad? He's got a Golduck. Wow, wow, wow. Ah, Golduck looks so cool. All right, let's um, let's struggle bug, cause this thing. Oh, soak. <laughs> um, I'm gonna leave the jokes alone with that one. Oh my goodness. Wow, I'm telling you, Souffle, you need to kind of step up your game there, girl. Well, let's just struggle bug it again. Oh, Screech, I should probably get out of here. Okay. Um, although I think I'll charm first. Yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, darn it, I was worried it would have Aqua Tail. <gasps> Whoa! Wow, and that's not very effective. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> could have fooled me. Thank goodness it's soaked souffle. If she weren't all wet like that, that would have done a lot of damage. <laughs> oh my goodness, here we go again with that screech. All right, you're getting really annoying there, guy. Let's discharge. I find it funny how these two have kind of reversed their role. Like, it used to be Souffle who was always protecting Onion. Like, every single fight, you know, Onion was like, ah, he's, you know, he's a sensitive little guy. He's not getting, uh, you know, he can't take hits all that well. He doesn't really do a lot of damage. Souffle just rocks everything. And now it's like, I don't know, Souffle, she hasn't really been all that strong lately. And Onion is always coming to the rescue, which is great. <laughs> oh, so we're in Moss Deep City. That was a lot faster than I remember it being. Oh, sweet, a big pearl. That's nice. Big, great. Oh, I wonder if there are any hidden items around. Let me put on my goofy little, little whatever these are. Um, <laughs> I mean, really, I wanna call them like dangly orbs, but that sounds so bad on so many levels. What do you even call those things? Oh yeah, the, hi Dex Nav Encounter, what's up, Wingull? Pelipper, Pelipper, you're a Pelipper. That's right, oh, bye, see ya. Adios! Oh, we're getting a signal, sweet, dude. All right, let's check this place out. Oh man, it's a hidden path. Where does it go? What? Is there, like, nothing over here? Wow, that's a ripoff. I mean, this would be, like, the perfect place to put something really cool and really hidden. But why on earth would they do that? I don't even know, man. All right, what about over here? Oh, look, I can just... Oh, never mind. Man, that's such a cool playground, but there's just nothing there. How disappointing. Hey, what's up, buddy? When I was young, I traveled the world as a secret base expert. Even now that I've become an old geezer, my passion has not waned. I'm waiting impatiently for a secret base to appear just beyond that door. Really? You don't say. Oh, it seems to be locked. Oh, well, you're going to be waiting for a while there, pal. Oh, man. Yeah, I think there was something that, like, unlocked a secret base way back in Ruby and Sapphire using that... The E-Reader. Oh man, that was kind of wild. Yeah, it was. I actually had one of those. Actually, technically it was my brother's, but we shared, so it was kind of like it was mine. That thing's kind of wild. I remember getting the original Eon ticket for that. It was pretty cool. They're like pretty rare nowadays though. Thank goodness I still have mine. All right, what do we got in this building here? Whoa, there's a lot of what are they? Hex maniacs? And a mining. <laughs> sure. Okay. Um, tippy toes, toppy toes, sneaking up on poke toes. <laughs> Every gym badge tells a story of a hard won victory against a worthy opponent. I can look at a badge and tell you which Pokemon were with you when you won it. Oh, don't do this. It's just going to break my heart. All right, let's see. You got the Dynamo badge with. You're Illumise, Minin, Pikachu, and Taylo, right? Yeah. Um, oh, Mudkip, Zigzagoon, and Wurmple. Knuckle Badge. I had a lot there. Man. A whole team. You were ready for anything. 
Oh, gee. Tamale's been through so many partners, it's crazy. Thank goodness Cashew's stuck around for a while. Yeah, that's a really good thing. All right, let's go. Check out some more town, of course. I heard from my mates in Lily Cove that the herd of Whalemer has disappeared. I wonder what down went down there. I went down there. <laughs> that's what happened. All right, what do we got over here? Oh, hi. Provides are fantastic. No, they're not, cheater. <laughs> you are lying to me. All right. Um, I don't think I need anything. I have tons of Pokeballs. Look at this guy standing there. He's like looking at these things with his wide stance. <laughs> like what? Netballs and dive balls used to be musty specialty. Uh huh. But now they're not. Uh. Yeah, Max Repel. Do you want a TM? Sure. Ha, oh, sweet! I got Quash! Not to be confused with Squash. That's a TM that my sweetie gave me when I proposed, but I'm not a trainer, so I don't know how to use TMs. Oh, okay. What does this thing even do? It's like, I don't ever use it. Suppresses the target and makes its move go last. Uh, I mean, that's really fun on, like, Prankster Murkrow, I guess, but... No one can learn it! All right, all right, let's go. Oh, hi, what's up? Um, if you have any trouble, you want, may want to visit the gym. Hmm, maybe. That's right, that's going to be interesting. It's going to be like a double battle. Oh, man, yeah, that's going to be, um, it is certainly going to be something. Because in a double battle, in a wedlock, if one of the Pokemon faints then you have to switch out for the opposite of that Pokemon's gender. Uh, I'll explain this more once we're going on. I just know a lot of people will be asking about it in this episode. So for instance, let's say I led with Bruschetta and Fettuccine, and then let's say something happened to Fettuccine. I would have to send out a female Pokemon then. So it would be the two females fighting in a double battle. The female would obviously be from a different pair. And that's the instance where that, you know, cross pair battling is allowed. Why the two females? Why wouldn't you send out a male to replace it? Well, the reason is, um, that way, if either of the remaining females gets knocked out or dies, then you just send out the male from the second pair. So let's say I send out Cashew, so it'd be Cashew and Bruschetta. Then let's say Bruschetta dies. Well, I just sent out Tamale. Or if Cashy dies, then I send out Tamale as well, and then those two are paired instantly. So that's kind of how double battles work in a wedlock. Um, we're going to need to give that some thought. I think that Bruschetta and Fettuccine are still a really good bet, though, but I want to make sure that they gain some levels. I've kind of fallen behind level-wise, and, you know, it's not really from, like, lack of fighting people. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> it's crazy. The experience share, you know? I don't have that. Uh, oh, it looks like a little bit more than Pokeblocks. Well, that's good. All right. Well, looks like that guy's kind of obsessed with Pokeblocks, so that's fine. I got this from Steven, but I don't know what it's good for. It's called King's Rock. Do you want it? Yeah, buddy. Why'd you want it? You're weird. You can keep it, but don't tell Steven I gave it away. Yeah, the King's Rock. That is nice. Oh, that's good. I think I want to give that to, um, oh, maybe Tamale. Whoa, there's, like, no one here. I hope it's okay. I'm just kind of walking around someone's house. Yeah, that's Steven's house. He'll show up later, but not right now. Um, have I been in this house? I haven't really explored too much, and I love exploring towns. My little brother says he's going to find the biggest secret base. Did you know some items can make secret bases bigger? Sweet. Wow, look at look at this floor. This this mat here. It looks like teeth. You got teeth in your door. That's so weird. <laughs> That's so strange. Oh man. Alright, let's explore a little bit more of Lily Cove. Do 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 do. I've already been there, that much I know. Oh, look at that rock. It's a white rock. This rock has a special meaning to the people at the Space Center. Uh, when you make a wish, what do you use? Do you wish upon a star? 
Did anyone else think that you could get Jirachi from that white rock? Somehow? I'm not gonna lie, I, I might have thought that. <laughs> uh, I mean, when I was way younger. When I was way younger. I mean, obviously now we know, but... It's really funny how, you know, there's rumors like that. Oh, this guy! This guy! Look at him looking all smug! Hey there, trainer! A super rod is really super! Say what you want, but this baby can catch Pokemon right off the sea floor. What do you think? You want one, don't you? Yes, I do. Yeah, Super Rod. That is nice. Great. Oh, that's exciting. That is some good news right there. Yes, it is. Um, so now I can fish for all the really good Pokemon. Um, yeah, sure. That's fine. Let me put on my... My, what did I call them? My tangly orbs? That's so wrong, but <laughs> whatever. That's kind of what they look like, sort of. I mean, they don't look like that, but yeah, they're... What are they, antennae? I mean, that, I mean, I guess sort of, but it doesn't really describe it. Like, I think of satellite dishes when I think of antennae. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna check out the Space Center. Oh, there's a house here. Well, let's see what's up with this house. Oh, it's a Wingull. Quee! Oh, and it's gone. Even though I can't see my dear friend in Fortree, a Pokemon carries mail back and forth for us. I'm not lonesome, even though we're apart. Aw, oh, isn't that sweet, but who's this guy? Oh, scandal! Oh, what is going on here? Oh, okay. <laughs> my little sister's always getting letters from her boyfriend in Fortree. Hmph. I'm not jealous, not even a little. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, thank, thank goodness for that. Otherwise, it's like, uh, lady, you got some splaining to do. You got some splaining to do. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't it be nice in this island? No, the whole world was burgeoning with nature. Burgeoning. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what about this place? I like to go to space with my Pokemon for a rendezvous in the starry sky. Gotta go to space. Uh, some people claim the Pokemon came from space. Could it be true? Space. This rocket, thick. Thick! It's so thick! When I see a rocket, what I think is thick. How's it going, everyone? Maryland on the moon. I just Marylanded on the moon. Yes, I did. <laughs> All right, yep, I did. Bench! Look at this bench. Actually, this isn't a... Is this a bench? What is this? It's like, no, it's like a couch thing. It's like a fake bench, a trap bench. I was taking a stroll down the beach when I found this. It's not anything I need, so you can have it. Ah, oh, yeah, I got the sunstone. That is nice. Hey, pal, you look lonely. Let's talk. A giant chunk of metal bursts through the sky and flies into space. It boggles my mind. Yep. Oh, hi. The rocket, I, er, the rocket was launched safely. That's successful launch number 11. Doesn't that update, like, every week? Have I been playing this for 11 weeks? Actually, kind of feels like I have. That seems about right. Um, It's kind of interesting that they launch a rocket every week, though. All right, let's see what's upstairs. If I can even go upstairs. Oh, I can, nice. Yo, what's going on? Where are all the people at? This is supposed to be a party. Well, I'm just gonna sit here and look all important with these expensive arrays of computers that are showing numbers scrolling rapidly. All right, that's awesome. Moss Deep has many clear days and its wind patterns are stable. Huh. Well, yeah, that's great. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh man, so I'm trying to think now. I guess that's all there is to do here in Moss Deep, but there's something I want to do before I wrap things up. It's going to be a shorter episode today, but that's how it goes. That's how it goes, because um, we got the gym coming up, and I still have to do some training for that. Um, yeah, but I do want to check out Fortree City really quick. 
Because remember, there was that guy who sent his Wingull off. And now we can return. And see what he has to say. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. All right, let's go. La 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 la. I think it was the farthest one over. With this creepy guy standing outside of it. Yeah. Good. Welcome back, Wingull. Huh? What's this? What's it holding? A mental herb. It must have picked it up somewhere. But I'm not a trainer, so you can have it. You're not a trainer, but you have a Pokemon. What? Oh, he said my close friend. <laughs> right. You can say it. She's your girlfriend. Oh, man. All right. Anyway, um, I think this is probably as good a place as any. I can't really think of anything else to do before training. I want to get everyone trained up to maybe like level 41 or so. Either 40 or 41. So that's going to take some time. But it's not terrible. I mean, you know, we'll figure a way to make it work. I have plenty of options now. Um, I don't want to fight on Route 124. I guess I'll save that for an underwater encounter. Unless I'm just totally wrong about that. I don't know. We're going to find out in a little bit. Oh, I could go to the Shoal Cave sometime. That'll be cool. Yeah, that would actually be really cool. I'll have to look into that, because I know that there's some Pokemon I could get. Huh. Yeah. Route 122. I already got something there. I don't think I got anything on Route 107. I know I didn't there. Huh. Well, we're going to need to give this all some thought, but whatever the case, I think uh, now is a good time to, you know, say goodbye. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you have an awesome weekend. I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Omega Ruby Wedlock. See you next time, spaghetti. Yeah, yeah.